what's up guys, Benny here and Nuketown 24-7 has just arrived in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, bringing with it a brand new fastest method to get as much experience as possible so you can get to the max prestige before season one. And I wanted to make this video so you don't miss out on any of those easy levels and experience gains that are available right now. Also, if you are new around here, please take a second, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Call of Duty content. Okay, so first things first, it's important to know all the new additions that have just arrived to make this brand new method possible. Now, as you can see on the featured tab, Nuketown 24-7 has arrived to Call of Duty Black Ops 6, which includes four modes. Team Deathmatch, which you never want to play if you're looking to get the most amount of experience. Kill Confirmed, Domination and Hardpoint. All three of those are some of the best options to getting the most experience. So you can play any of them, but we'll get into the best ones a little bit later on in the video. Also, if you press in the left thumbstick, you can see that at the time of recording this video, there is a double experience event. And now this event is running from the 1st of November till the 4th. So there is a four day window for you to get as much double experience as humanly possible. This is one of the biggest opportunities ahead of season one to get as many levels as you possibly can. And also a great opportunity to get those key weapons fully ranked up so they are ready for the Warzone integration on November 14th. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do before you even get into a game is make sure that you've got the best possible loadout. Now, I'm going to head over to my loadout and show you exactly what I've been using and a couple of the other changes that I plan on making. Now, the weapon, one thing I would say, use the best guns available. If you want the most amount of experience, please, please, please do not be using sniper rifles. Do not be using shotguns. That is not going to be the best method across this weekend. You want to be using the assault rifles like the XM4, the Model L, the AS Val, the SMGs like the KSV, the PP919, even all the LMGs and like the Marksman rifles like the AEK. It's going to get you the most amount of experience. Um, the snipers, you will see a huge drop off and you can level those after this weekend is over if you don't get enough playtime in. Now, you've also got the Sigma there so you can take out loads of UAVs. There is so many in the sky in this mode. Um, and then also just the knife or the baseball bat depending on what you're using stims frags you can change this all the time semtexes thermo grenades are all great options and then i use the assault pack because it is so helpful to get as much ammo nades stims to keep yourself alive and keep those streaks going then you're going to run tack mask and flak jacket there are so many flashbangs stuns grenades these two perks are pretty key i actually used a permanent unlock on tack mask to make sure that i've got it alongside flak jacket it really does help in nuketown 24 7 um then my perk 2 will become tracker as soon as i get back to level 29 again and i am flying through the levels um thanks to the, this method that you're going to be using dispatcher is also helpful just to get the most amount of perks possible um so you can choose to go for that as well quartermaster is just going to be nice to kind of keep giving you um those extra grenades and stims um but that is the perfect setup for you to use perk greed of course so you get flak jacket and tap mask which is another thing that I use my permanent unlock on but this is the sort of loadout that you want to be going into the game with then score streaks this is a key mechanic to this experience method and is what people like punkill have done who is currently leading the race to master prestige and you're going to want to run uav counter uav and then also the harp there is a little bug in the game right now that you can chain your streak together and give you ridiculous amounts of experience because every single kill that people on your team are picking up on Nuketown is going to give you 45 score and if you do a little method that I'm going to show you in a second it will get you so much experience uh, you're going to be blown away so the next thing that you're going to want to do is hop in to nuketown 24 7 and the mode prioritization should be as follows the first mode that you always want to play over anything else is domination there is a huge opportunity to get a ridiculous amount of score and experience thanks to the green speciality that we have with the loadout that we've used because when you're defending b domination you have two incredibly overpowered 
head glitches where you can easily pick up kills from people kind of pushing around the outside the houses, the front door, the side cars, and it's really difficult for them to take you out, especially uh, because you've got tap mask and also flat jacket, so you're going to be sponging those grenades, having those stuns and, and flashbangs not really affecting you, and because of that defensive bonus that you get, you will get your UAV and counter UAV really, really quickly, which in turn will get you your harp or VSAT um, in no time at all. Now, it's very important that when you get your harp for the very first time, that you do not call it in, okay? What you want to do as soon as you get your harp is get yourself killed and then get yourself another UAV and counter UAV streak. This is what will allow you to be able to rotate through your streaks because there is a bug, I don't know how it has happened, that will keep your harp streak going even if you get killed again. So it means that that streak is just suddenly going to replenish and you're gonna have a harp almost continuously throughout the gameplay, which is kind of broken. It'll probably get patched very soon, but they're definitely not going to get it done in time um, for uh, this weekend. So, you know, take full advantage of it whilst you can. It will get patched, but at the moment, I kind of like having rotating streaks. And it reminds me of World at War, when you used to get your dogs, let the dogs get one kill, then die, and it would get you a whole nother set of streaks with your dog streak. It's a bit like that again, but continuous harps, so you know exactly where the enemy team are. The next mode that you want to play is hardpoint. Like I said, maximize playing the objectives. Every defensive position that you get, every kill that you get on the objective, every time that you're spending on that hill, you're maximizing your score per minute. And that is so important if you want to level up as fast as possible. And because all the zones are really close and the spawns, uh, are, there's a lot of spawn killing opportunity, especially from the majority of the hard points, you're going to get a lot of score, which I'm sure you're seeing from the gameplay. Kill confirmed is then a great option as well because you can just pick up your teammates tags and you get a lot of extra experience thanks to those green perks once again. Now, team deathmatch, just avoid it. It's fun on Nuketown, but like I said, the score per minute is a lot lower and, and it's just not really worth your time if you're trying to maximize the amount of experience that you're going to gain over this weekend. But there are also a few other things I wanna quickly talk about for you to get as much experience as possible. So what you're going to want to do is head over to your barracks and make sure that you go to your challenges and mastery badges. This is brand new with Black Ops 6 and a lot of players still don't fully understand it, but there is a great opportunity to get a ridiculous amount of experience just by using all the weapons in the game. So if you complete, get 450 kills with every single assault rifle that is available, you're going to be earning yourself an extra 10,000 experience every single weapon that you use. And then you also get a bonus when you've completed all of them of an additional 10,000. And this works on everything. This is like lethals, tacticals, your field upgrades, your score streaks. And Nuketown 24-7 is going to be the best opportunity to complete all of these really, really quickly. And another thing, make sure you go do all your calling cards. Like there are so many little things here that you can just kind of make sure that you get done that is gonna add a lot of additional experience throughout the weekend. Um, another little thing that I've also been doing just to make sure that I'm getting the most amount of experience, playing with a squad. Like I've been playing with a six man squad because I know they're gonna be getting a lot more kills. They're gonna play the objectives with me. I'm going to be also finishing those matches because the match bonus is actually quite big. A lot of people leave just before the end and then they're missing out on an extra 6,000 experience, which obviously in double experience weekend is gonna be 12K. So do not leave your game. So see it through, play the objective, take down score streaks as well. If you just need to kind of tick yourself over to kind of get your own UAV and counter UAVs, all those little bits are going to help you get the most amount of experience this weekend. And I hope this video helps. Um, also, Newtown 24-7 is so much fun. I'm so glad that they've added it and I will probably see you over the course of the weekend. So enjoy, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. Bye!